Hey guys, and welcome back to part 2 of the Live Wallpaper Editor tutorial. In the last video, we got an introduction to the tool and began to build our theme with a few basic layers. Now, in this one, we'll see how the time of day function works. We will also add a few passively animated effects that will create this really cool looking continuous snowfall. Let's begin by adding some snow in the foreground layer. To add layers to the foreground, we first have to click the foreground tab. Then I'll add images just like normal. Our snow is currently not moving. Using what we already know, we can add an offset Y effect to move the snow up and down based on where we are in the home screen. Now when we scroll back and forth, the snow moves. However, we want it to move on its own. To do this, we will switch over to the Advanced tab. In the Advanced tab, you can create entirely custom effects. Effects are grouped together into modifiers. As you can see, we already have a modifier for this layer. Click the modifier to expand it. Inside, we find a Y effect. This is the offset Y effect we just assigned in the basic panel. Double click the effect or click the pen and then edit effect to open the effect editor. This is the effect editor. You can think of effects like statements saying, for the state X, I want to apply the value Y. The state is represented by the yellow line. The applied value, which in our case is the Y coordinate, is taken from the red line. Now I am in the middle of the home screen. You can see the yellow line intersecting the red line at 0 dp, so the snow is centered. If I scroll to the side, the value changes and the snow moves. Right now the effect is based on where we are in the home screen, or the wallpaper offset. We can change this with a drop down here. As you can see, there are many alternatives available. Select time for a basic looping effect. Now the yellow line moves on its own. By default, the duration of an effect is one second. Let's increase it to make the snow fall slower. The final step is to add another layer that moves similar to our current snow layer but offset slightly so that it appears like a continuous snowfall. Clone the current layer by clicking on it and then the duplication symbol at the bottom of the screen. In order to create the illusion of the continuous snowfall, we will need to link the top of one layer with the bottom of the next layer. To do that we need to apply the following pattern. Now we have the desired effect of continuous snowfall. As you can see, I have now added a few more layers. They are all created with the same time-based effect I used for the snow. For example, the auroras are fading in and out based on an alpha effect. The effect moves from transparent to opaque and back. There are a few stars in the background with similar pulsing effects. Uh, the chimney smoke is a bit more complex. It is made up of four different effects. The X effect keeps it in line with the house. There's a Y effect that moves it from bottom to top. The scale makes it larger. And finally, the alpha effect makes it fade out. We have two chimney layers to make the smoke look a bit more realistic. I now want to create a day and night cycle in the wallpaper. I have a few night layers in my wallpaper and all of them have a corresponding day version. To begin with, I'll add a day version of the house layer. I'll go ahead and give it the same properties as the night house layer. And now they move exactly on top of each other. To create the day and night cycle, I need to make it only visible during the day. To achieve this, we'll add a new effect that targets alpha. Open the effect editor and set based on to time of day. Time of day turns the horizontal position to the current time. Let's add a zero at the start of the day and a zero at midnight. Below the preview there is a slider which controls time of day. As you can see, the scene gets brighter and darker based on the time. Let me add the rest of the day layers and I'll show you the result once I'm done. Now we have a nice transition from night to day. I made the fog layers move slightly left to right based on the time of day. I added an X and Y effect on the moon to make it rise and fall during the night. Finally, I applied some additional snow layers that are mainly visible during daytime. Not only does the wallpaper now move, it also changes throughout the day. Alright, so we now created the majority of our live wallpaper and it looks really cool. In part 3 we will show you step by step how to create an amazing lock screen transition and add some simple touch based effects. 
Thank you for watching and see you in part three.